three, two, one. What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, April 23rd, 2018. A start to another week, another week in crypto. Let's get ready, let's buckle up. I'm sure it'll be a wild ride as always. I just tweeted a little bit ago, I said, crypto is like a hobby that has the potential to change the world and make you a lot of money. Not sure of any other hobby that can do that. And I'm sure a lot of you agree. I know a lot of you are just are just simply here for the money and that's okay. But I also know a lot of you, I know for a fact a lot of you, you have that innate desire, that, that innate gravity pull, that entrepreneurial pull to be involved in this space because you see the innovation behind it. I think that's awesome. I think that's a lot of what, what is going on within the community. Obviously, we, we all wanna make some money in crypto, but there's a lot more going on. There's definitely a lot more going on and it, it, in terms of mindset and the people involved in crypto. So I don't wanna go off on a tangent. I wanna kind of just go over this article that I was reading the other day. I, I saw John McAfee tweeted it and I, I wanted to cover it. I just haven't had the time until now. So I'm gonna do it, but let's first start at CoinMarketCap. Check it out. Bitcoin dominance, 37.9% continuing to drop a little bit. What's going on? Not worried about that. 8907 Bitcoin currently. Man, can can Bitcoin break 9000? Can we break that resistance? We'll find out soon. Obviously, Bitcoin cash going crazy, going nuts. It's okay. Give it give it its time to shine. Just give it its time to shine. But yeah, overall market looking good. And I want to talk about this article. You may have seen it. Definitely has been making its rounds, but Bitcoin nears 9,000 as crypto buy orders compose 92% of market. So for the first time since March 2017, buy orders now compose over 92% of market activity, hot on the heels of a massive $120 billion recovery. The massive surge in buy orders heralds an impending bull market and could potentially exceed the monstrous late 2017 run-up. With so many buy orders placing pressure on the cryptocurrency market, a significant price shift is highly likely. Cryptocurrency market observers are calling for a dramatic increase in Bitcoin values sooner rather than later. In an interview with CNBC last week, Lee predicted Thomas Lee a 225% increase. So he said, we still, pretty, we still feel pretty confident that Bitcoin is a great risk reward and we think it could reach $25,000 by the end of the year. It's overdue. Bitcoin was incredibly oversold and it's so true. You can just see it on the charts if you go look at the charts. One thing I found interesting in this article is this paragraph. While market sentiment is overwhelmingly positive, not all predictions are bullish. One of the most interesting predictions of the last month comes from Harvard economist Kenneth Rogoff, who stated in an interview with CNBC that Bitcoin is likely to trade at $100 per token by 2028. And I, I love what this says. Look at this quote. If you take, this is what Rogoff says, if you take away the possibility of money laundering and tax evasion, its actual uses as a transaction vehicle are very small. This guy, th we're talking a world economist from Harvard, very well respected if you read about him. Thinks, thinks that the value proposition of Bitcoin and crypto is, is money laundering and tax evasion. Its actual uses as a transaction vehicle are very small. Is he, he's a world economist. I'm not like, I'm not sure if he's living in this world. I'm not sure if he's seeing the technology and what it's doing in terms of adoption and use cases as a transaction vehicle but he's completely way off base and it just confuses me. Some, some of the most brilliant minds. So against crypto and I don't really, I can't comprehend fully why, um, but it is what it is. I like how the article ends with cryptocurrency buy order ratios reaching an all time high and tax season finally over. The impending crypto bull run to end all bull runs isn't just possible, it's inevitable. A little pumpy but I like it. <laughs> so that's the article. I'll post a link in the description. Bitcoin nears 9,000. 
So what's going to happen here as we kind of continue this momentum? Time will tell. Are we are we ready for another massive bull run? Time will tell. We need that volume. But right now, things are looking healthy in the market. I wouldn't be too concerned. I know a lot of you that do watch, not not too big, big of fans of this Bitcoin cash run, but it's all good. Don't let jealousy get the best of you. Focus on focus on the cryptos that you're passionate about and that you like. Focus on your investments. Don't if you're not in Bitcoin Cash, don't worry about it. It's doing its thing because that's what crypto does. It does its thing. It doesn't care about what we really think. So that's it. Let me know your thoughts about this article. Let me let me know your thoughts about the impending bull run that this article calls for. It will very be very interesting to see if it happens. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the channel. Thank you so much for your comments, for your likes, just for kind of having the conversation with me. Appreciate you. I will see you in the next video and God bless.